Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. <coughs> Dead gummit. I uh, want to let y'all know that uh, there's some things that I tell you that just wrote stone. One of them is I'm not a computer geek. I uh, I kind of got drug into this face, uh, this YouTube thing. And uh, I've enjoyed it, don't get me wrong. But uh, my son got me into this. And I told him that, uh, son, I don't do all that stuff. So it took him a little while to teach me how to do these recordings and, and to get them posted and all that stuff. And I do. Uh, in the beginning, he had a lot of work. I and mean, the folks have been with me a while. You know, in the beginning, some of them were pretty rough. He'd go in and stabilize them and, and do what he could and all this stuff. And uh, I've gotten better. His work ain't near as hard for him. However, he told me, Daddy, you make the recordings and I'll, I'll do all the computer geek stuff. I mean, that, that's what he is. He is a computer geek. I mean, he's got, I mean, he's going for his PhD, I think, in geekitis. I'm not sure. But he's a smart fella. He knows his way around a computer real well. Uh, and that was our agreement. That he would do the technical stuff and Dad would make these. So I've done my part. I've made at least two or three videos. Well, now Patrick in Detroit, for some reason, he made a comment, and YouTube has got it held in prison. I read a little bit of it, what it would let me in it. I don't know why it's holding it. I found it. I thought I was doing good finding it. And... Uh, he tell me, well, it might be because you're on your mobile. You might have to get on your laptop. Now, nah. I do have a laptop. It's back there in the back. I have not uh, been on that thing over a year. Since I was forced to get this smartphone and then wound up getting a tablet along with it and all this other goulash and hoorah. I don't break it out in this truck. It's a pain in the butt. Try to balance that thing on the steering wheel on your lap. Did it for years. So, uh, son, just gonna have to. I want him to do some other work on the channel anyway. So he's got some time off coming up. I might see if I can get him to find Patrick's comment there. And. Uh, See if he can figure out now. If, if he can figure it out and tell me what to do, a lot of times I'll be able to remember it if it happens again quite soon. If it's a year down the road, forget it. But uh, I want him to change a little bit of other stuff, some profiles and uh, uh, library and this, that, and other. You know, just some stuff. So, uh, so Patrick, I'm not blowing smoke. I don't know all the computer geek stuff. Uh, my son, his name's Joe also. Well, not Joe also, but his name also happens to be Joe. And one of his son's name is Joe. We have a lot of Joes. And I happen to be Papa Joe. But little Joe, that's my son, uh, he got this started to pull me out of the dumps over losing his baby brother, my baby son. And it's worked quite well. Uh, I've said it numerous times and I'll say it again. It was supposed to be a cooking channel. That ain't where it went. I'm fine with that. I'm fine where it's at. But there's still a lot of the stuff that I just can't do. So uh, I'll try to get him on top of it. But, 
in the meantime, Patrick, I appreciate your comments. Uh, you corresponded back and forth and acknowledging stuff. That's pretty cool. Had a uh, gentleman from Russia comment earlier. I forget what his name was. I'm going to tell you, though. Well, maybe I is. Maybe I won't. Because I do, sure don't know how to say that. Now, dude from uh, Russia, uh, it almost looks like it starts with a Tom, so I'll call you Tom, because it's in Russian, people. I mean, it's, I'm hillbilly. I don't do Russian. Uh, but he found the channel, and he liked it. I'm glad you like it. He, uh, Said he came over 19 years ago, legally. Thank you very much. Been working and paying taxes for 19 years. Thank you very much. Like I told him, the folks that I know, that's all they ask for. Come over legal. Do it right. I have a friend of mine from Germany. Uh, he could have retired here, and he was going to retire here. Uh, he had went through a divorce over there and all this stuff. And uh, he was a poor millionaire. You know, he had had some businesses he had sold and whatnot. So he had enough money he could retire. I mean, he would have watched his money, but he could retire. And he wanted to move here to the USA to retire. You know, our fine government wouldn't let him do it. What damn brain surgeon... They're like, well, if you're coming over to go to work, you know, I'm coming over to retire. If you're retiring, I mean, he's spending money. They wouldn't let him do it. He uh, argued with them for several years. Came over here several times. And, uh, and then his kids decided they wanted to come back with daddy. It had another mama and he got a bigger house and whatnot and all that and started taking care of his kids again. So last time I talked to him, I was like, well, they're lost. I ain't coming over now. You know, I got my kids back. So we're like, this is crazy. These are uh, little egg muffins we make. They're pretty good. I think I made a video about them. Make them in those little mini cups. And, uh, let's see. Mama puts cottage cheese, uh, regular cheese, whatever kind of cheese you got on hand, actually. We will, uh, cook up whatever kind of meat we decide to use, which this one was sausage. We did these a little bit different. And yes, we. We worked along together. Uh, took a browned up sausage and put a little bit in each of the little miniature cupcake things. Put just a drop of our cheeses in there. The wife mixed up the, uh, I call it clabbered milk. She calls it cottage cheese. And uh, then we filled the pans up three quarters, a little over. Cook them, bring them down into baggies, put seven or 10 or 12 in, that's what you get. And uh, we'll bring several bags of them, throw them in the ice box back there, and <laughs> microwave them rascals, and make good little breakfast snack food go down that road. And as you can see, I just grabbed one absentmindedly talking to y'all. I never even thought nothing about it until I grabbed it. But, uh, rabbit trails. Nothing but rabbit trails today. Uh, weather's turning to crap where I'm at and where I'm going. I'm going up to Lincoln and Crete, Nebraska. Missouri has a no travel advisory out. 
for the next 36 hours till two tomorrow. Wow, there they finally got me bouncing here. I'm down in Arkansas and uh, I'll be running up to Arkansas and Missouri right there on the Oklahoma state line. I would like to get about 130 miles up the road for this nonsense that's in tonight. And uh, we'll see how that all works. I've been sitting here forever. I don't see none of my clocks. I've been here about four hours. I brought a load in, delivered it right down there, about 10 doors down. Then drove up here and been sitting here for about three hours. So uh, I just went in there before I made this video in between making videos and said, how about it boys? Some nasty stuff coming in, I'd like to leave. So finally, they're starting to bounce me around a little bit. So, uh, hey, don't even remember why I made the video, but I made it for you. Now I gotta watch it, just see what I can name it. So, oh, it was about Patrick. Okay, yeah, Patrick in Detroit. So, uh, I think that's what I'll call it. Patrick in Detroit. Remember, folks, God loves you, so do I. And Papa Joe is not a computer guy. I'm good looking, okay? I'll give you that. I'm good looking. I'm the best looking truck driver in this truck. Y'all have a good evening.